Outlander Season 4's conclusion was not necessarily everything we hoped for. Yea, there was Brianna Fraser, Sophie Skelton, and Roger McKenzie's, Richard Rankin, reunion, but that appeared a rather forceful happy ending than anything else. The bitter part came in like a wrecking ball when Jamie Fraser, Sam Hewen, was ordered by Governor Tryon, Tim Downey, to build an army and kill Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, Duncan LaCroix, Jamie's beloved godfather. Even before Roger could enter River Run and get a reaction from the Frasers, the credits rolled and that was that, the beginning of Drought Lander. The good news is the time-traveling series based out of Diana Gabaldon's books have been renewed for two more seasons, five and six, but the sad news is we don't know when they are premiering. Sam Hewen, who plays Jamie Fraser, teased the filming date has been set and while that's exciting, we have so many more questions. Season 4 is over, and fans are watching it all over again to tackle Drought Lander, but the lurking questions and curiosity are all about Season 5, especially pertaining to Murtaugh and Bonnet. Here are some ponderings we want answered in Season 5 for the characters we are most worried about. No, it's not burning questions of the finale, it is about what's next, and what we can hope for from Season 5, because, to be honest, only Outlander fans know what this dry spell feels like, and curiosity never killed the cat when time traveling. 1. The Fate of Murtaugh Fitzgibbons The season 4 finale titled Man of Worth, had an unexpected twist. Fan favorite Murtaugh hooked up with fan favorite Aunt Joe Casta, Maria Doyle Kennedy, and not even the book readers saw it coming. Why? Because Murtaugh is dead, in the books. Deviating from the Outlander book series Drums of Autumn, Murtor united with Jamie and young Ian in Wilmington, and ever since there has been a couple of revelations. The first and the only one that matters, as of now, is that Murtaugh is the leader of the Regulators and is committed to fighting the Redcoats for their corrupt tax system. When Jamie came to know his beloved godfather, who swore to protect him, is actually the primary rebel. We knew things would never be the same for the Frasers. Jamie tells him he cannot join their movement, but it will not do anything to stop them. Jamie also heroically saved Murtaugh from trouble when he escaped Governor Tryon's boring theater and set out with George Washington, to warn Murtaugh the governor knows their plan. Murtaugh will do anything to protect Jamie and Jamie will do the same. However, he is the most wanted man now, especially after escaping from prison. So, we wonder how it will turn out for Murtaugh and Jamie. A fake death report would be easier right? 2. The Fate of Aunt Jocasta Looped in with the fate of Murtaugh, is now that of Jocastas. They are very much in love, and it's a case of two fan favorites coming together. In the book The Fiery Cross, which the next season will be based on, Jocasta marries a man named Duncan. But that's because Jocasta and Murtaugh did not have a thing at all in the books. On TV, it's completely different and Jocasta's fate of hiding and protecting Murtaugh is as precarious as Murtaugh's own fate. 3. Stephen Bonnet likely survived. Impossible as it may seem, Bonnet, who got hold of the keys just before the prison blew up, likely survived the explosion. The good thing is Jamie's regret of not being able to kill the evil pirate with his bare hands could be reversed and Jamie will get the satisfaction of killing his daughter's rapist. However, the bad news is the Frasers are unaware he escaped, and given how psychotic he is, Bonnet is already hatching a plan to kidnap Brianna and the baby, the book's readers opine. 4. Young Ian's a mohawk. This has to be the happiest conclusion to season 4. Young Ian is the man of worth, but there is much more in store for him in Rolo, because like his uncle Jamie, his thirst for adventure is never quenched. We would like to see him explore more, obviously with Rolo, 